Person-centered language focuses on recognizing and honoring who a person is. By understanding a person's values and experiences, we build stronger relationships. This approach is important in providing the best possible care. We are so excited to celebrate the fact that over 20,000 people have committed to using the principles of person-centered language. This initiative started in 2017 by a group of passionate individuals who knew that the words we use to talk about dementia can have a significant impact on how people living with dementia are viewed and treated. The words we use can influence the moods, self-esteem and feelings of others, which is why our words matter. By choosing words that respect and uphold the dignity of each individual, we create and foster a more respectful, inclusive and life-affirming environment for all. thing that comes to mind when I hear person-centered language is person first. Humanity. Compassion. Compassionate. Individuality. Respect. Respect. The other one that I found is, is just as important as dignity. I think of dignity. Understanding. Empowerment. Inclusive. Person-centered language is important in long-term care because it really allows us to recognize the individuality of each resident and member of the staff who are part of long-term care home communities across the province of Ontario. Person-centered language acknowledges the individuality of each person. This acknowledgement is the foundation of respect and dignity. When we use PCL, we demonstrate that we see the person as an individual first. For my dad who required care and support, it ensured that he is seen and valued as a person, not just a patient. It fosters a sense of respect and empathy, making him feel understood and appreciated. It empowers individuals by allowing them to define themselves beyond any stereotypes or limitations imposed by labels. It contributes to creating a more equal and inclusive society by acknowledging and respecting the diversity of human experiences and identities. Over the years, watching language that has been used around the world of dementia and your diagnosis has been at times very hurtful and offensive. So we decided to adopt the strategy of being inclusive, compassionate and caring and that's where it all starts is through communication. Focuses on the individuals. So that allows us to have a voice and make choices about our own lives. So therefore it promotes autonomy and self-determination. By prioritizing this approach, we can build stronger relationships and improve communication and the quality of care we provide. Fostering person-centered language and long-term care has allowed me to build meaningful relationships with our residents by getting to, to know their unique stories. And through all these pieces being pulled together, we were able to build a home that is enjoyable, engaging, and feels like family. And it's very fulfilling that there are people that live in a home that looks forward and seeing you every day, not someone who works there, but someone as a family or a friend that they can count on. And the only other comment I have is that you have to be patient with yourself on this and be patient with the people around you. So Don, what do we have to tell people? What do they have to do? They have to take the pledge. Thank you to everyone who has committed to using and advocating for respectful language that uplifts others in both their professional and personal lives. Every pledge and respectful and inclusive word brings us closer to a community where all individuals feel valued and understood. Check out our PCL resources, take the pledge, and join the conversation. Words matter. It starts with you.